Hello everybody, this is Triplet99C here, and we are back with another BitLife video, finally. Uh, so you may have realized in my last one, I tried recording on my iPad and it was a total, total mess. It was a very bad experience altogether. The videos wouldn't record half the time, and then the rendering process took 12 hours. So I am definitely not doing that again. However, my phone is an Android phone, so there's a nice little perk on this Android phone where I can screencast to my laptop. So that is the reason how I am recording this screen right now is because it's casting to my laptop. <laughs> so every time I play BitLife now, that's how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, now I know that the Android version doesn't have as many options as the Apple one does. However, this is really the only version that I can play right now without it crashing on me every few minutes. And I really don't want that experience to happen again. So this is the version that we're going to have to deal with for now until they finally make those updates to where it's exactly the same as the other one. So let's get started here and let's just make a random life here. Okay, so my name is Mason Schlitz. Yes, Schlitz. <laughs> I was born a male in Minneapolis, Le United States. God, I was a planned pregnancy. My birthday is January 16th. Okay, so my father is Gregory Schlitz. Gregory, good lord, I cannot talk. <laughs> Gregory Schlitz, a graphic designer. And my mother is Naoki Schlitz, a receptionist. And I have an older sister. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, this will probably just be more like of a speed thing, I guess. Just because my experience with the last bit life video was so bad. I'm just gonna do just a regular little life thing. I'm not really gonna try and follow any challenges or anything, but I probably will next time, so... Yep, age up. Father's been promoted to graphic design. I thought he was a graphic designer before. The graphic designer now is just capitalized, okay. <laughs> Age up, age up, age up. Literally nothing ever happens. Um, big sister started elementary school. Father's been promoted to senior graphic designer. And we had another child named Juan. So I have uh, two siblings now, a girl and a boy. Cool. Age up. I am five now. Is that too young to ask my parents for money? I need that money. So let's ask. My mom's got no money. Yeah, I'm too young to ask for money. Okay, age up. You broke your parents' flower vase while you were playing. What do you do? Let's just admit that we did it. Like, come on. There's no point in saying it wasn't me because it obviously was you. <laughs> I'm seven now. Is that old enough to ask for the months? <laughs> ask for money. He gave me a dollar. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> A dollar can get me so much as a seven-year-old kid. It can get me some candy. Or maybe a few of those bouncy balls from Old Navy. <laughs> Let's ask my mom for money now, even though she has none. A dollar. Thanks. I have two bucks now. I'm rich. <laughs> Age up to eight years old. I am in school now. Let's study harder so I can get smart and get a good college education because the education system here sucks in the US. <laughs> Get these relationships up with my siblings so they don't hate me in the future. I can ask my sister for money, but nah. <laughs> she didn't appreciate my compliment. Dang, sis. That's rough. It's time to go to your first school dance. You are attracted to a girl named Allison Thiel. What would you do? Oh, she's real cute too. <laughs> Let's ask Allison. She rejected me and I went to the school dance by myself. Oh, sorry, Mason. <laughs> okay, let's study harder. Study harder some more. <laughs> My smarts aren't very high. This is troubling. Okay, um, and I still can't go to the library or anything even though I'm 11 years old. Study harder. Can I have money? A dollar. Dang. My Come on guys, I'm 13, I need to start making that money so I can get them V-Bucks, come on. I started high school, what? 
You went straight from elementary to high- No, that's not how- That's not how that works here. I don't know. Maybe it's different in other states. But here, it's literally like elementary school is kindergarten through sixth grade. Sometimes it's fifth grade for some areas. Yeah, that's how it was here for me. Um, it was kindergarten through sixth grade. So during that time, you're usually about five to... Can I do math? Well, for me, it was different because I graduated when I was 19. Most people graduate when they're 18, but that's because I started preschool a year later. It's usually between the ages of like five to 11 or so. Um, and then middle school, you're usually about 12 or 13, 12 to 13, sometimes 13, 14 in my case. And then from high school, you're from like 14 to 18 or like 15 to 19 in my case. So, um, why in the world did you go to elementary school for that long though? Like, no, I don't know. I guess it's different in some areas. Elementary school for that long of a period though just seems so long. Like, dang. Driver's license. It's time to take your driving test. Will you take it to take the test? What does this road sign mean? Oh dear. <laughs> uh, see, um, I only took a road sign test when I was 15 when I was taking my permit test. So that for me was five years ago. <laughs> so I haven't taken a road sign test in like five years. Um, is it dangerous curves? I failed. Okay. What did that mean then? So I don't have enough money to retake my test. So, hey, guys. Two bot two dollars? Okay. Um, mom, can I have some money too? One dollar. Okay, but how much does it take? Fifty-one dollars? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have $51. <laughs> I'm gonna be driving late, man. Then again, I did too. <laughs> and I graduated high school. Okay, um, here's the fun part. I'm not very smart, even though I studied very hard. <laughs> um, let's see, computer science, engineering, psychology, history. Let's do computer science, Plata University. Um, yeah, that sounds about right for a college, 61000 Most of the time, though, it's a lot higher than that. Well, this is just tuition alone. This itself probably would not cover room and board or food or supplies or any other fees you have to pay. So in reality, this would probably be about 20000 per year. <laughs> And you're going for four years, so that's about 80k. So, yep, that, that sounds about right. Uh, apply for a scholarship. It's been awarded. Good. <laughs> Usually whenever I play these, I always get rejected from scholarships. <laughs> Study harder. Okay, because I want to get a good job, man. Even though that's not my goal in real life so much at all. Like, I just want a job that'll make me happy. I really don't care too much about whether I'm making a six-figure income or not. Like, if you have a job that pays you a lot of money, but you're miserable at it, then what's the point, in all honesty? Like, you don't want to wake up for work every morning dreading going, don't you? Like, yes, you're making a lot of money, and yes, you're able to pay for a lot of things, however, if you're not happy, then there's really no point, you know what I mean? And I'm 20, apparently nothing happens when I'm 20. <laughs> no one's asked me to go on a date yet. So I'm gonna take the matter into my own hands. <laughs> um, let's see. At the library, you meet a female named Crystal Collins, age 20. She's a dishwasher. Um, maybe I can find someone else. At the library, you meet a female named Alaya Howell, age 22, university student, just like me. And she's very smart, she has lots of money, she's not crazy at all, and she looks good. Okay. <laughs> she, reject she rejected me. Oh no. Oh, poor Mason. No one loves him. <laughs> Maybe if I study hard and get a good job, someone will want me. <laughs> Find a date. Um, well, the library, she's 27. I don't know, I'm 20, so... 
Um, yeah, at the gym, you meet a female named Natalie Daniels, first lieutenant in the army. Okay. Um, sure. Ask her on a date. Yay! I'm dating Natalie Daniels. And she's in the army, so that's cool. And spend time with my siblings over and over and over again. Graduated from university with an undergraduate degree in computer science. Okay, so I can take... So it's not giving me an option at all to pursue a higher degree. Okay, so I guess I'm looking for a job. So I got computer science, so maybe I can, I can probably be a computer programmer. I might be able to do a business analysis tonight. Okay, guess not. Computer programmer rejected. Good lord, what was the point of me going to this big university? Um... I can't do senior jobs because I don't have enough experience. Okay, so IT. Cool. That is a very low salary salary though. <laughs> so I think this is the time when I need to like buy a car at least. Oh right, I don't have a driver's license. Let's do that first. Um, good lord, Mason, you're 23. Same freaking sign. What does this road sign mean? Apparently it doesn't mean dangerous curves. Um. Is it slippery when wet? I have never seen that sign. They don't put that sign out here. And whenever it rains, the roads get very slippery. What? Okay, um... Mm, I am confusion. <laughs> okay, now I can get a car, because I actually have my license now. So, it'll probably be a pretty, uh, dumpy car for the time being, but I don't want one that's too banged up because I want to be able to keep it for a while. Um, let's see, buy it with cash. I have a car now. I can start looking for another job, maybe? So browse other listings. There, it finally clicked. Okay, um... So what can I do? Um... Cool, I get paid $10,000 more now, okay. Um, let's see, let's buy a house maybe? If I can afford it? Uh, 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 nope, I can't, okay. So we gotta get that muns first. Age up. Your girlfriend Natalie is pregnant with your baby, what will you do? Keep the baby. And now since we have a baby, we should probably get married. <laughs> so I'm gonna propose to my gertie friend. Propose. She rejected my marriage proposal. Excuse me. We have been together for like three years now? What What do you want from me? Do you want me to have a better job? <laughs> and I have been promoted again. Yay. Okay, since I've been promoted, will you marry me now? <laughs> okay, Natalie, will you marry me now that I've been promoted? She rejected me again. I honestly don't know if I should stay with her at this point. Hmm. Your girlfriend Natalie is begging, bleh, begging you to buy a house for your growing family. Fine. Shop for houses. I just couldn't buy one earlier because I couldn't afford one. So I, we could buy a trailer. <laughs> These are probably the only things that I can afford at this point. Um, buy it with cash. Yay, it's literally a one bedroom house. Where is the baby gonna sleep within the parents' room? <laughs> That's not a good idea. Will you marry me now? I am practically 30. Please. Okay. You know what, Natalie? I bought a car. I bought a house. We had a baby together. I've been promoted twice. Or three times, I think. I don't really remember. You are 34, and I am 30. We have been together now for, um, 10 years. Right here. It says it here, under 30 years. We've been together for 10 years. And she still won't accept my friggin' marriage proposal. What the heck, Natalie? Come on. She's like slowly starting to hate me. Oh my god. You suck her to a boxing match. Please! Just... Even though you have a girlfriend, your neighbor named Aubrey Torres asks you if you'd like to come over for a massage. No. <laughs> I'm a faithful boyfriend. My daughter started elementary school. My little brother one's been promoted. Good job, little bro. 
Now, please, Natalie, please. Just marry me already. Okay, at this point, I've done everything she's wanted me to do. I spend time with her. I've proposed to her four times. I have a kid. She started elementary school already. We've been together for 13 years. I'm sorry, Natalie. But it's time to go. Yup. Bye. Ugh, okay. Find a date. I'm kind of old now. You meet someone at the library. She's a senior mail carrier at the city of Minneapolis. Ask her on a date. Good. So now, you, I've been together with you for like a year now, I think. So let's propose. And she actually accepted my marriage proposal, have you? Man, <laughs> what the heck, Natalie? I proposed to you four times. Four, that, <laughs> that should show how much I love you, Natalie. Hey, your fiance is pregnant with your baby. What will you do to keep the baby? Age up. A fiance suffered in the first trimester marriage miscarriage and lost the baby. Oh, sorry, babe. Let's spend time together. Let's spend some time together. And we can plan our wedding so we can take our mind off of it. Okay, so let's have it at a barn or a church. Let's do a church. And then we can go to San Francisco, to the San Francisco Comic Con. <laughs> so I'm plan, do it. You married Tara Moore at the church, and we went to San Francisco. Heck yeah. Okay, so now at this point, I probably need a better house. So let's sell the house. No one wants my house, so I guess we're keeping it. <laughs> and my wife is pregnant again. Keep the baby. Alright, so I think it's time to get a new car. Sell my car. I got a thousand dollars for my car. Yay. Shop for cars. So what cars do we have to offer here? A Mercedes Benz. It's in bad condition. Maybe. Wow. 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 These cars are so bad. Okay. Buy the Volkswagen Beetle. Oh, buy it with cash. Oh, Beetles. Your wife, Tara, just had a baby son. Yes, yeah, so let's name him Isaiah. Age up. Even though you're married to Tara Moore, a lady named Maya McQueen asks you if your name is Wi-Fi because she's feeling a connection. No, go away. Your daughter, Destiny, is asking you to pay for her college education. She wants to major in history. Will you pay for her tuition? See, babe, uh, I don't make very much money as it is. I only make about 80k a year, so 61,000 is... Okay, that's not my responsibility, or should I just pay her tuition because I'm a good dad? Let's pay her tuition. And she doesn't really appreciate it very much either. Wow. Your father passed away at the age of 75. He died from meningitis. Attend his funeral. And my mom died too. Yikes. She died from malaria. Attend her funeral. And repair my beetle. Yay. Where's my inheritance? <laughs> Age of. And I've been diagnosed with anxiety. I mean, I can see why when both of your parents die in the same year. I can see why too. So let's go to the doctor. Treat my anxiety. Oh, yes, I went to a doctor. And he treated my anxiety. Because that's how simple anxiety can just go away. Got into an accident while driving. Your armpit was perforated. What? Your Volkswagen Beetle sustained damages. Fine, I'll just repair my Beetle. <laughs> Only $500 in damages. Okay. Uh, now my son wants me to pay his tuition too. Okay, son. But he was not very appreciative at all. Okay. Okay. I should have just said that you should have just paid it on your own then if you were going to be an ungrateful little brat. Okay, it's time to retire. <laughs> I'm pretty old now. My big sister passed away. She died from contracting a rare eyebrow condition. What? <laughs> okay. 
And my brother died too from hepatitis B. Yikes. And of course, my car always has issues whenever a family member dies. My wife passed away, she died from malaria, and I got an inheritance. Your car will no longer start and is beyond repair. A 41 year old car! Wow, that lasted for a long time. I probably shouldn't be driving anymore anyways. And I died at the age of 84, and I died after suffering a stroke. I was almost at a million dollars, though. Rest in peace. And so, Mason, Mason Schlitz passed away peacefully, the ripe old age of 82. His funeral was attended by his two loving children, Destiny and Isaiah, his little sister, Aleia, and his nieces and nephews. Oh, so my nieces and nephews don't hate me. <laughs> A charming and responsible man. He studied computer science at university. Mason was hired as an internal auditor. <laughs> and was put in 47 years at Celestial Development. Friends smile when remembering how he once called his mother intriguing. Yay! So I had a pretty simple life as you can see. Um, my first girlfriend didn't want to marry me for some reason, but my second wife was pretty good and I took her to the movies a lot, so yay. And I had a good chunk of dough. It's too bad we didn't get to a million though, but oh well. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like below. And also feel free to subscribe so you can see more videos from me in the future, whether it be little gaming videos like this. And I also do speed paints as well as art tutorials, and I would like to do more vlogging soon, as soon as I get a new camera. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.